This short presentation will show the components that make up a calibrator system and demonstrate how it is used in a practical application. The model ST or STEX digital weight indicator complete with a rechargeable accumulator displays the calibration loads as they are applied. The EX version of the weight display allows the system to be used in an area classified as hazardous due to the presence of potentially flammable gases or dusts. The calibration loads are applied by small hydraulic jacks. Quick release connectors make for quick assembly and disassembly. Normally three or four calibration jacks are used and these are connected to a multi-way manifold. The calibration loads are measured by OIML certified precision load cells of a capacity selected to suit the vessel capacity. These are connected via plugs and sockets. The load cells and jacks make a compact assembly for installation during calibration. The calibrator can be used in both a push down and a push up configuration when a vessel is empty or mostly empty. The calibrator applies a downward load to the vessel's weighing system which simulates the effect of filling the vessel with product. A push down installation uses a reaction beam in the form of a goal post. The hydraulic jacks react against this in order to generate the calibration loads. Two side arms and the reaction beam make up the goalpost assembly. Here we see the hydraulic hand pump with its manifold and the small hydraulic calibration jacks which apply the calibration loads. And here we see the digital weight indicator powered by rechargeable batteries connected to calibrators precision load cells. Signal cables with plugs and sockets are used to connect calibrator's precision load cells to its digital weight indicator. In this case a four-way manifold is being used. The hydraulic hoses are connected to the manifold using quick release connectors. Quick release connectors are also used to connect the individual hoses to the hydraulic jacks. Once the hydraulic hoses are connected, the jacks and load cells can be assembled. Operation of the hand pump pressurises the system and causes the jacks to extend slightly. Even under full load, load cells deflect by a very small amount and only a short stroke jack is required. The reaction beam is fitted and the dimensions are checked. The reaction beam is secured using the supplied washers and nuts. The load cell and jack assemblies are placed in position so that when the system is pressurised the jacks react against the crossbar to apply the calibration load. The hand pump is used to pressurise the system. Initially this causes the jacks to extend 
and take up any clearances between the calibrator assembly and the reaction beam. The calibrator display is zeroed at the start of the procedure. Operating the hand pump causes the calibration load to increase and the calibration display and the working weighing system are checked at a series of points in the weighing range to check the linearity. If a vessel is full or nearly full of product and it is not convenient to empty it then the push up calibration technique can be used. The same jacks and calibration load cells are used to perform the push up calibration. The load cell and jack assembly is placed beneath the vessel foot or support bracket close to the working load cell. As the hand pump is operated the jacks provide an upward load reducing the load measured by the working system by the same amount. A multi-point calibration is then performed in the same way as for the push-down method. To review the key components of the calibration system, the hydraulic jacks apply the calibration loads, the precision weight display and the OIML certified load cells measure the exact load and this is used to calibrate the working weighing system. Calibrator provides fast and traceable calibrations. It is especially beneficial in situations where the flow meter technique presents problems. For example, due to the contamination of a vessel in a GMP environment.